Hi everybody, I'm Nigel and I'm going to tell you this week's true Bible story. Now let me start by asking you if you've had the opportunity to meet someone important. Maybe a music celebrity like this chap. That's Ed Sheeran. Or maybe someone from the world of sport. Do you recognise this man? Yes, it's Gareth Southgate the England football team manager. It could be someone in politics like our Prime Minister, Mr Boris Johnson. Or perhaps royalty has visited your town, even the Queen. Well, well, someone very important was coming to town in our story today. People flocked to see him because it had been reported that he could do amazing things, miracles. He could even make sick people well. Not just over time, like a nurse or a doctor, but instantly, just like that. Who could it possibly be? Okay, okay, I can hear you shouting his name. Yes, it's Jesus. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem and reached one of the towns not far from it. It was called Jericho. Lots of people gathered to see him. One man, Zacchaeus, wanted to see Jesus very much. Zacchaeus was very rich. Unfortunately, he had only become rich because he had been dishonest in his job. Zacchaeus was a chief tax collector. It was his job to collect a portion of money from everyone who lived in the town that would then be used by those in charge, the Romans. No one wanted to pay taxes to the Romans, so no one liked tax collectors, as they would often overcharge people in order to make themselves rich. Everyone in Jericho wanted to see Jesus, including Zacchaeus. But he was a very short man and he couldn't see over the large crowds surrounding Jesus. I can imagine him shouting to the crowd, Hey, let me through, prodding the people in front of him. But I reckon their reply would have been something like, No. We're not going to help a friend of the Romans who charges us taxes. This would have made Zacchaeus very disappointed, wouldn't it? But then he had an idea. Nearby, he saw a big sycamore fig tree. And because of its low branches, he was able to climb it. Zacchaeus now had a very good view as he sat up in the tree. And he himself could also be seen from the people on the ground. Jesus was coming towards the tree. Jesus stopped, looked up and to everyone's surprise shouted, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. Well, can you imagine the shock Zacchaeus felt at being told this? But he was delighted and immediately came down from the tree and they went back to his home. But the people, well, they were very angry with Jesus. They were all saying, why does Jesus want to go to the home of that wretched man? A cheat and a friend of the Romans. Do you think Jesus has got it wrong? Does he have any idea what this man has done? Of course he does. In fact, he knows far more about Zacchaeus than anyone else. 
Jesus is the son of God who was able to look into the heart of Zacchaeus and see that deep down this man no longer wanted to do the wrong thing. This is what happens when you meet Jesus. You begin to see you're a sinner, someone who's wanted to live for themselves instead of God. And you know there's nothing more important than getting right with God and being forgiven all the wrong things you've done in your life. Listen to what Zacchaeus told Jesus. Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Four times. That's amazing. Here was proof that Zacchaeus was a changed man, trusting and following Jesus. That's why Jesus came to earth. Listen to Jesus' own words. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. The Son of Man is the name that Jesus often used for himself. And he tells us that he will save all those who turn from their sins, forgiving them, changing them, so that they can be a true friend of Jesus forever. You know, no one is ever too bad for Jesus to save them. And that's the best news ever. Have you been changed by Jesus yet? If you haven't, then ask Jesus into your life today. Be like Zacchaeus, who didn't hang around and became a follower of Jesus. Thanks for listening everyone. See you all again soon. Bye for now.